believe how we've got involved. It was simply an email and it just excited me as soon as I saw what it was about. Nature, dancing, um, the Seedlings Project, the Arts Council, um, we've got the Silver Arts Mark and it just encompassed everything that we're about as a school and I was very excited and signed up immediately. Dance we felt is one way of accessing exercise for those that don't feel very sporty. about a seed and it's called a uh, conquer which is when it's in a shell and it's life process so like it's planted in the ground and it grows. Instead of just um, telling it we're going to show it with a dance. So we've been looking after the conquer by turning it around carefully and we've been showing it to the sun to let it grow and it's it's basically on its journey for all these different landscapes to try and like find a nice place to grow. Um, to, we're doing um, a part of our dance is where we use plastic bottles which stands for um, pollution. for the children to take ownership of their learning is key because we want confident um, you know we want confident adults that are independent and so them leading their leading the dance and leading their group we've seen a lot of a lot of children that have got those leadership skills that we didn't realize that have come to the fore um, so it, yeah i mean it's invaluable if we could weave that in into more areas of the curriculum i think that would that would that would create more confident, resilient children. I like how I get to see other people's, like, that we're all different, so all our creations are different, and they're all just so elegant and creative, creativity, and it's just really nice to watch other people and others' ideas. We've, um, we've we found it really fun, and yeah. we've also, it helps people get together and dance, and it's really cool. It was amazing, mesmerising, um, the children's commitment and their dance moves. Oh, it brought tears to my eyes and hairs on my arms all tingled. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful performance. I can't believe they've trained to that high standard and produced that. It's amazing. And when you watch that, and when you watch that routine, it's like, it's cool. Wow. Exciting and yeah, it makes me happy. Awesome and fun. Uh, elegant and it makes me proud. It's because I'm dancing and like, I don't sure really like to dance. It's a bit inspiring and it's a bit, well, different. Yeah, different and it's just like really fun as well and it makes you happy. Like you're yeah. doing something that you don't normally do and it's fun. They found something that's really special that they didn't, you know, that they didn't have before. Um, for example, Sienna, she struggles with her her reading and her writing, and so a lot of the lessons are really, you know, they're very really challenging hard, for her. very challenging for her. Yeah, she but really, here, honestly, she's a different person. She's a different honestly, person. Yeah, I and see it, her yeah. perform today, and the other teachers who actually came, they remarked on it straight away. Yeah, they, they said, said well, she's shone through her, her niche. And that's been the same every week. You know, she's just come out of her shell and and shown us what she can do. And that's that in, that confidence has then um, you know translated back into the classroom and is you know is helping her feel a bit better about everything. And I think you know ability is about confidence a lot of the time. If we can if we can give children that chance to feel that they're good at something, 
that sort of just permeates everything else they do. So it's been a, it's been a fabulous they, um, they had to write a page for their reports to go back to say what they've actually done and a lot of them did say At, their yeah. drama and Sienna's was definitely, that was the yeah. really thing that she enjoyed this year was her drama, which obviously is this. I like the um, bit that we were working partners and making our own cocoa. Um, my favourite part is when we do the, like, the chopping part. My favourite section is when we get into little groups and do our own little like oh, yeah. story about seeds. It's really cool. It's probably the industrial part because I like all the slicing and chopping. The central part of the story is how humans are impacting the world and how we can bring nature to the forefront. I wanted to have a sense of uh, a seed going on a journey and we wanted it to have a kind of uh, awareness of our impact on the world, so bringing in um, rubbish and trash and uh, having a bit of a fight for life. So I think the partnership with Suffolk Wildlife Trust has been really, really important part of it as well, you know, bringing in some of their learning, part of their um, wild project to, to encourage children to connect with their natural environment. I think it's fantastic. I'm quite a new teacher, so I see it as it's almost like service, it's like CPD for me, it's like training, sort of seeing new techniques, um, involving the children in different activities and enabling them to express themselves in different ways. It's so lovely as a teacher to be able to work with experts and learn from experts. Um, but I mean, we couldn't do anything like this on our own. We'd need those experts to, to lead the creative process. What do we learn? Maths. What did we enjoy? Dance! Dance. <laughs> it's in their minds forever, and the audience. They know the story, they know the problems, they know the dangers. It's perfect for them.